So I bought a cabinet the other day. Something I've been wanting for a long time. I've never had, which is a 412, a Marshall 412 to be exact. But there's an interesting story behind this particular cabinet. This isn't just a typical off the shelf Marshall cab. This is an oversized 412 from the Hendrix stack. Uh, supposedly it's got heritage greenbacks in it and it wasn't for sale actually. So this cab came from Righteous Guitars. And if you watch any of my videos that I've done at Righteous, you've actually seen this cab in the background. And it's been there for a few years and it never sold because it's actually broken. Supposedly the story is that Righteous a few years ago ordered one of these 412s and it showed up completely destroyed. It was crushed at some point in shipping. So they sent that one back and they ordered another one, which is this one, which also showed up crushed and pretty much destroyed in shipping. And rather than go through the whole rigmarole again, they just decided to keep it there as a display unit or a demo unit in their amp room. And I was there a few weeks ago and mentioned to my friend Ben that I wanted a 412 cab. And he mentioned, well, we might be able to let this go. And he made a deal and I got a deal on it. Now it's been sitting here in the house for a few weeks and I haven't played it or moved it or touched it at all. Part of that's because we're in the middle of the studio build downstairs and there's not really a place for it. But part of it is, I don't know if this thing is even gonna work. When we got it home and I pulled it out of the truck, it literally started coming apart. The joints, at the edges of the cabinet are broken. So before I actually play this thing and push some volume through it, I actually wanna get it somewhat patched back together. Uh, I don't know if you can tell from the shots here. It looks like it's perfectly fine, but uh, actually let me, let me show you what the issue is. Just grab it and just lay it here. There you go. Oh my God. So I think the main issue that I can tell is right here. This joint is completely separated all the way down to the bottom of the cabinet. And same thing here. It's not as bad, but it's definitely an issue. My plan with this cabinet is to not tour it, not take it out live. This is primarily gonna be a studio tool. It's gonna live in the studio downstairs, but I'm worried that if I push high volumes through it, it's gonna start to rattle and vibrate and make all kinds of noise. So we're gonna try and deaden it down. You help? You help? Okay. All right, so here it is. Definitely have the UK greenbacks. Really excited about that. What I'm less excited about are all of the baffle screws seem to have backed out for some reason. So this thing is definitely gonna rattle and make noise in its current configuration. This is also loose, this brace. What's this? Yeah, this thing's definitely, definitely seen better days. That's the baffle board kind of screwed back together here. Um, we're gonna see how that does. If something ends up rattling when this is all said and done, my gut is gonna tell me that it's this baffle board, which means I'll probably pull these screws out and then redrive them off of their holes because some of these are kind of stripped out. This thing must have taken a huge hit. For the baffle board screws to be like backed out like that, whoever shipped this thing <laughs> and for it to happen twice to two cabinets in a row. That's pretty insane, but we're going to save this cabinet. We're going to bring it back from the, uh, from the brink. Now you can see these joints a little better kind of backed out. So I think the plan of attack will be to drive some of those L brackets in here, maybe three on each side to make sure it's nice and, uh, 
nice and strong. And maybe we tip the cabinet over on its side when we do that. It's kind of act as a clamp because I don't have a clamp big enough to go across the bottom of that cab there. So we're going to save this thing though. We're going to save it though. These corners seem okay. I think it's really just the bottom. Um, so these are what I picked up. Corner braces is what they're called. Let's gonna try it. Run a nice bead. Maybe three on each side. Uh, by the way, that's not the uh, sound of the screw head stripping. It's the clutch on the drill, so I'm not over torquing the screws. So it's the first side done. I think once that glue dries up, that'll really help. And then I just took the extra bracket and threw it in the top just for good measure. All right, so I got the brackets in and a bead of wood glue into each one of the seams there. I also just threw an extra bracket in the top for, for good measure. I don't think it really needs it. So now I'm gonna throw the back on, get it back together, and we're gonna plug it up and play it. Okay, so that is officially the first time we've ever played music and made noise in this basement, the Future Studio. Uh, and as you can see, a quick update, this place looks quite a bit different than the last time you saw it. We've taken it totally down to the studs and we are starting the studio build very, very soon, like in the next week and a half. So I felt that we needed to christen the space down here before the construction starts and before we get into all the build out. I wanted to sort of, uh, I don't know if it sounds kind of corny, but bless, bless the space with some, some loud rock and roll and some fuzz tones. 
I am super, super excited about this cabinet though. It's gonna be a really great studio tool to have. It sounds great. The speakers definitely need to be broken in. They're a little bright, a little harsh right now. Um, but overall, that's gonna be a really nice piece to have down here and I couldn't have gotten a better deal on it. Now I think the only thing it's missing is a nice 100 watt plexi to go on top of that cab, but that's for a different day. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like and a comment. Let me know what you think about this cabinet down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe because we have the Studio Build series on the way. Once we get this build out rolling down here, I'm gonna be making a full series of videos dedicated just to the Studio Build out. We're gonna go super in depth on everything that we're doing down here from the framing and the build out to the layout in terms of acoustics, to the gear that we're using, to signal flow and routing. This is gonna be a complete home studio build series and I could not be more excited about it. So be sure to subscribe, be on the lookout for that. Also, if you're interested, check out any of the video courses I have in the description box down below, like fretboard fundamentals, the tone course, and the Nashville number system course. And if you want early access to my new video courses while I'm making them, you can sign up for the inner circle for just 10 bucks a month down there as well. So I'm gonna go play this amp some more. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Rhett Scholl, and remember there is no plan B.